hello welcome back in the if you follow my videos uh, in the sequence then you must be understanding that we are talking about test methodology and in our very in, in our second chapter we we describe about the test environment and even we set up our test environment for the project in the third chapter we do a sequence of videos we understand how how to set a performance acceptance or exit criteria and we did set one criteria for our project in the fourth chapter we learn how to design a test or how to design a workload specification and if you see this is the workload specification we define for our project all right and in this chapter we are going to learn how to develop test. So the test development is a process again and that process comprises of various step and let's call this test development phase. So essentially now I am basically describing in detail about test development phase. So test development starts with with your workload specification. That means the person who is going to develop the test, he must be very well aware of the workload spec. Okay, so that means I have to give this spec to the person who is supposed to develop the test. All right, and then the next step would be to based on the workload spec, we will write the test script or sometimes we call it load generator okay so we will write load generator so don't worry about these things I'm going to explain you next video about how to create a load generator all right and then we validate if the load generator or whatever program that we write if that program is working or not validate load generator all right and if the validation result is successful then go to next step if it is not successful then change the load generator and do the validation again so that means in this step you are testing your load generator if the load generator you know is working what it's supposed to do okay so not success if it is successful then we write a program that program is called controller so essentially if you see the load generator load generator is going to do a login okay and load generator say so login is a generator you know name of that program is l1 the browse course will be l2 enroll course will be l3 and l4 l5 l100 okay so basically all this all these individual tasks we can write a script or we can do a, we, we can write a program which is going to going to do the specific things but however the percentage mix and how to set up how to how to implement the workload that will be done by another program called controller so controller is basically going to take all those inputs load generators according to the workload spec it will run those things okay so you write the controller and then immediately you validate with a small number of user if with the controller if we are we are adhering to the workload spec that we define all right so validation not successful then redo the controller so if it's not successful redo the controller if it is yes then that is the end of your test implementation okay so let me summarize what I did here we start with workload spec then we write a load generator and this load generator is going to do the individual task like login okay then we validate load generator then we, we create this controller so that we can control the load generators so that it will adhere to this percentage mix and also some other other tasks like when to start an user when to stop the user and so on okay so this, this controller is just basically take the input load generators and control them so that it will adhere to the workload spec and then with small number of user we validate if the controller 
is working fine and also at the same time whenever you run multiple users you find certain issues, certain issues for which you might need to revisit the load generator and change all right and once this validation step is done we have a program and that program is going to simulate this workload all right so what we are going to do in the next set of videos we'll try to understand each of this process how to create a load generator okay how to create a controller and so on thank you